Hey everybody, okay, so I have been neglecting this channel for quite a while, and my original intent for this channel was for beauty, makeup, fashion type deal, as opposed to Rocks Box unbox unboxings. Now, I had planned on doing that anyways, but it has taken over this channel, so I kind of want to gear it back towards what I intended to begin with. That being said, I have not been wearing a whole lot of makeup lately. If I'm not at home, then I, I mean, if I am at home, I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup, um, just because we haven't really been going anywhere, so I just haven't. Um, I have become obsessed with Lush Skincare, their Love Lettuce Mask, and it's phenomenal, and it has done wonders for my skin, um, in conjunction with some other stuff, which I'm going to make a video about probably tomorrow. No, no, no. Probably Monday, because I, I don't tend to film on the weekends. Anywho, I thought, excuse me, um, that there would be a really good chance, or this would be a really good chance for me to show you guys how I contour and highlight. Um, it's What I do is way more than what most people do. Um, I do use cream a cream contour and a powder contour to set. You can just use powder and do the exact same thing without having to use a cream contour. Now, that being said, um, this is how I do it. There are hundreds, well, probably not hundreds, but there are tons of different face shapes and everybody's face is different. I tend to carry my bigger part of my face here. My face is somewhat round. Um, so I tend to contour more. Now I always contour around my face. Um, some people have bigger foreheads. You could, I'll show you where to contour. You want to put your darkest colors where your bigger part is. So this whole center part of your face, if you're gonna highlight, needs to be lighter so that it draws attention in to your actual face. Um, now I am using um, you could put on a primer. I didn't just because I didn't want to, but I have on foundation. I mean, I have on moisturizer. I do not have on foundation yet. I am currently using the Beautifully Matte Number 7 Foundation by Boots in the color Wheat um, because my body is super tan. Now, I sunscreen my face, um, so my face never gets quite nearly as dark as the rest of my body does. And I want my face to match my body. So my foundation is way too dark for my face, but it matches the rest of my body. So it will be fine once I get it all on. Uh, this is not the brush I normally use. This is just a Coastal Scents. I think, honestly, I think it's like a powder, a setting powder brush. But um, my Sigma F80 was dirty. And I ran out of um, face cleaner. So, I'll have to wash it with Dawn. Make sure you bring your foundation down onto your neck to blend. I didn't give myself enough foundation. And this brush is soaking up a crap ton because it's not made for this, but whatever, I don't care. And if you do it in downward strokes, it won't settle in your fine hairs on your face. Sorry, it's a lot harder to see all this in my um, iPad than it is in a mirror. Now, some people like to go over with a damp beauty blender and just kind of blot. It just really depends on what my foundation is looking like. If it looks like it's a little heavy, I'll go through and blot the areas it looks heavy. Just make sure you damp it. Blah. Make sure you wet it squeeze it out really good, and then squeeze it into like a towel or something. Um, for my contour color, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Rich Bronze Undetectable Cream Bronzer. I think it's number 42. It looks like this. Um, and then for my brush, I use a sculpting brush by Real Techniques. Now, I wish this was a tiny bit smaller, like it's a little bit fat. And I'd really love to have the NARS Eda brush, but they're really expensive, and I just don't, I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on a brush. So, to contour, you're going to 
you want to contour from the top of your ear to here. That's where your natural contour color is going to go. Now, you're not going to extend it all the way down to your mouth. That would look crazy. However, I tend to stop about even with right here, like even with my nostril, but not all the way over. And then I just blend mine up. You don't want to break this line right here, but it's okay to blend it up onto your cheekbones. Same with this side. Now, I am not going all out today. I know this seems like all out to some people, but I contour pretty much every day just because I think it's pretty and it makes me look tanner. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to contour every day. It's totally fine if you don't. It's totally fine if you don't want to contour. Um, to each his own. That's the beauty of makeup is you can do whatever the heck you want to do. Um, now, if you have a small, a bigger forehead, you're going to want to contour at your temples and around your hairline. That's going to make this area look smaller. Same with your jawline. You're going to want to darken it towards the center of your chin giving you that effect of a pointier chin. Now, you can also use a darker shade of foundation, which is what I did until I found this stuff. Um, that's totally fine. Just stick to a color about two shades darker than what you normally wear so that it doesn't look overly done. Now, for your nose, I always contour my nose. I tend to have a little ball at the end of my nose. Um, so to contour, I use a um, Sephora Airbrush Pro Airbrush Concealer. It's number 57. It just looks like this. I actually don't like this brush for concealer. To me, it's not very soft. Um, so I don't use this. I use my Beauty Blender, but it works great for the nose. I just pinch it off, and you're going to draw a line right down to the center of your nostril. It looks crazy, I know, but we're going to blend. And then for me, because I do have this little bit of a ball on the tip of my nose, I do a slight V right down the center of my nose, which gives me that appearance that that's not there. And then for whatever reason, I just do a little bitty line right here. Just makes your nose look a little more upturned. And then I take whatever's left on my brush and I kind of feather it in towards my eyebrow so it looks more natural. I know you're saying natural, please. You're contouring the mess out of your face. It's natural in makeup, people. Calm it down. Um... My hairline didn't look dark enough. <laughs> now, to blend, I typically, you can do one of two things, which, I mean, most of my face is blended. The only place I ever go back to re-blend is my nose. Now, you can use, sometimes I just use, like, a fluffy, um, well, I can't find it now, kind of like a fluffy brush like this, just like an, like a, um, eyeshadow brush. It just really depends on what I have on hand and what I feel like doing that day. I, for today, am just going to use my the end of my um, Real Techniques Beauty Blender, which, if you love a beauty blender, you will love these. I have two of these. This is the only one I use, though, because I think at one point in time they changed up their um, formulation or something. I don't know. They got really funky weird for a while, but they are like... I think they're like $6 or something. Way cheaper than spending $20 on a beauty blender. Um, now, and don't get me wrong, I love a beauty blender, but I think this works just as good. So you're just going to pat and blend. Like, pat and blend. Because we're going to go over this with powder, so any extra blending will be done then. Now, for the highlight, I use... and. Honestly, I bought this forever ago, and I just started using it again. 
Um, and I could probably go a tiny bit lighter, but <clears throat> I use the uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. Not my favorite, however, I like it better to highlight than I, I did in the past, which is weird, but um, I just started using this again. I've had it for months. I just started using it again. Um, maybe my skin has gotten better. I don't know, but I actually really like it. And then I am using just a plain concealer brush, just a small brush. It came in a brush set from Sephora at some point in time. Now, I under I do under my eyes the exact same time I highlight. So, this is going to be shocking to some people, but you want to make this portion here flatter so that it appears that your face is slimmer. It's crazy, I know. You're going to think, what the heck? She's putting on way too much concealer. But I promise, we're going to blend it out. And it's going to be fine. It conceals better if you do this triangular area than it does if you just did this little half area where under your eyes are. You're going to conceal that dark circle better. The area is going to appear flat. And you're highlighting at the same time. And not to mention, it will lift this eye area up on the outside and make your eyes appear more awake and like open. I know people are thinking I'm crazy, but it is what it is. Now, in conjunction with that, I'm going to highlight my chin. I tend to highlight, I have little lines, like, I guess they're called frown lines, but I never really frown, so I don't know. I guess it's just age. Um, I'm going to highlight in the middle of my forehead. And... I'm going to highlight right at the tip of my nose and slightly down onto my nose. Maybe I should just wear it like this. Now, you don't typically want to drop this contour color below your nostril, which I accidentally did on this side. Whatever, it's fine. It'll blend out. It's not that big of a deal. But don't necessarily drop it all the way down here. And then I just take my beauty blender. I start with my eyes. And if you are like me and you, I'm 33. And I don't have horrible wrinkles, but the fine I do have some fine lines under my eyes. It's just the way it is. But if you will look up while patting out your concealer, it is less likely to settle in those fine lines. And you're just going to continue to press and kind of bounce that beauty blender in that triangle under your eye. Which is going to press that concealer into your skin. And then I often flip it over just to get with this little flat part to get right underneath my eye. And I tend to carry it onto my eyelid because I am not wearing eye makeup today. I wasn't even going to put on makeup until I thought, oh, this would be a great time to do how I contour. I know this seems like a lot, but for someone that wears a lot of makeup all the time, it really isn't. Like, it doesn't take me that long typically to do this. I could probably have my face contoured, highlighted, powdered, and out the door in like five, ten minutes tops. Um, but it takes longer when you're trying to talk through. 
and run in your mouth, which I do very well. And when I do these lines down here, I just kind of press them out into the darkness of that line. It just helps kind of take away that shadow. And then you can just go back and you can touch up whatever you feel needs to be touched up. Now. You could stay here. However, I always go in and I love a really matte face and I live in the south. It's brutally hot here and your makeup sweats off in like two seconds flat. So, I go in and set my contour with a bronzer and then I set my highlight with a brightening powder. Now, you could use a translucent powder. I tend to like a brightening powder because it just brightens that area up. Um, I am using Chocolate Soleil Too Faced Medium. This is medium deep, but honestly, I won't be able to wear, use this for very long because my tan's about done for the summer. You just go and, oh, I don't, I think, yeah, this is a Coastal Sense just angled brush, but I pinch it when I do my lines. You just go in and draw in that, that line like this, and then I f push it upward to blend. into the hairline. Same thing with this side. I always have a harder time with my left side of my face. I feel like it never contours as pretty, but I think it's because I'm right-handed. And then I just Contour back around wherever I put that contour color. Whoop. Oh, and I forgot to mention this sooner, but if you have, like, I don't say a double chin, but if you have, like, extra skin here, you can also use your cream contour color, and you can either darken it out and blend it in, if you want to conceal that and then hit it with your dark shade. Otherwise, if you want to make your neck appear leaner, contour down the sides and leave the open, leave the center open. So you would just go down your neck and it would make your neck appear longer and leaner. And then for my nose, I'm just going to go back in with whatever is left on my brush. And you could use a, I've used like a eyeshadow brush for it too. And then I'm just going to go back in and just touch up wherever I highlighted. I mean, wherever I contoured my nose earlier. Now, this is where I would use my highlight. And I actually use my, um, my Beauty Blender for this. Um, I know you may have heard of the term baking, and you may not have, but where it's so hot here in the summer, um, I have taken to baking on my makeup. Apparently, it's a term that was used in the drag world for a long time to kind of sharpen up your contour and make your makeup last. And basically, you are just taking your powder and you're going to... Put it on super thick wherever your line is. You can also do it anywhere that you highlight. Um, you can put it on really heavy and let it sit. Um, typically, the only places I do it are in my T-zone. And um, where I want to sharpen out that contour. Oh, another place I normally highlight that I totally forgot to highlight is your right here.
it just makes your top lip pop and look slightly fuller. Now I use, um, I recently found the Bessame Brightening Powder, um, and I really like it. It's really finely milled, it's a light yellow color, and it smells like heaven on earth. It's a French vanilla shade, I mean scent, and um, it smells lovely. It's comparable to like your Ben Nye Banana Powders, or your um, Anastasia banana powders um it's just a really fine milled super soft um powder that's not going to get all cakey in your fine lines and usually i'll heavily i will put this on really heavy under my eyes mainly because i like to do all my makeup before i do my um eyes so it catches fallout that I can just brush away later. So we're going to let this stuff sit. Normally, I, honestly, I would put it on a little heavier than this, but I didn't this time. Because um, I was having trouble getting it out of this container. It's the only thing I hate about these is I hate the container. Um, and then what I normally do is I will go in with a blush. And typically this is where I would do my eye makeup, but I'm not doing eye makeup today. I'm just going to go simple. Um, I am using the Hourglass Radiant Magenta Ambient Lighting Blush. It looks like this. Everybody's seen them. They're beautiful. They're really expensive. They're totally worth the money. And I'm just going to bounce it on my apples and my cheeks and pull it back. I think this brush is a cheap one from like CVS or something. Essence of Beauty. But it's really soft. And I always put mine on a little heavy because I'm going to blend all of this together with a brush. Um, so, I'm looking for my brushes. Sorry. I don't... Where are you? Oh, for the love. There it is. Um, for eyebrows. I don't always fill in my, eye my eyebrows. That was weird. It looked like lightning, but... It's not. It's sun shining. Must have been the helicopter. But my hair is so dark. I feel like my eyebrows kind of get lost on my face because I dye my hair black. So I just typically kind of fill them in. Nothing overly fancy. I don't get all crazy and overdo them. I just fill them in to make them a teensy bit darker. I need a lighter color dip brow. Honestly, this one's too dark, but... What else? As long as I go in with a light hand, it's not so bad. And then, that is pretty much it for right now. I'm going to go over. I'm going to brush off the excess. See how it just creates that nice line? I just kind of go in and brush off all that stuff that I had baking and kind of blend my shades together a little bit better. And then I always go back and retouch up my cheeks. And then, oh no, don't tell me I didn't. Oh, no, here it is. Mascara. I'm going to pull out a mirror and cheat. I am using Miss Manga by, I think, L'Oreal. Sorry, I don't know if I'm the only one that can't talk while I'm putting on mascara or if it's just me. Like, do other people do that or is it just me? 
I tend to be pretty picky about my mascara and the way it goes on, so let's just have that moment of silence for my mascara. And then, to top off the rest of my face, typically I like um, the Mary Luminizer by The Balm, but because it's in my purse, I'm going to use Max Soft and Gentle. Oh, or no, no I'm not. Hang on. Mm -mm. I'm going to use Becca and Opal. Love these. And I just use my finger. I think I'm like the only weirdo that does that. You're going to just highlight the top of that cheekbone. I highlight up into here. Try not to get it too underneath your eye. You don't want anything shimmery under your eye because that's going to make you, um, your, if you have fine lines, it's going to make you look older. I also do the top of my lip. And right in the center of my nose. I've also been known to do here and here. Sometimes I slap a little right under my eyebrow. Or right above my eyebrow wherever I want to look glowy and beautiful and that's it nothing overly fancy but contouring is super easy once you get the hang of it it just takes practice like everything else um, I will put on a lipstick but honestly I forgot and it is in the box behind where my iPad is propped up. So I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It went very long. Um, so if you're still watching, thank you for sticking with me. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Bye.